I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video we will see the important information and the steps that need to be followed after the seed allotment. If you are new to our channel you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture education related videos and ICER counseling videos in English since 2021. So you can share our channel with your friends also. Your seat allotment will be given in this applicant login so you can log in with your id and password icer has not yet released this seat allotment because the choice filling and the registration was entered one day later the seat allotment may be delayed by one day or it may be released as soon as possible so here they have given this important age for the first round so the seat allotment and the start of online document uploading by the candidates so it will start from monday from 5 pm onwards but it has not yet started i hope it may be started by today night or it may be started by tomorrow and uh, online response to queries raised by the universities so if you are uh, alerted to a particular university and if you are uploading documents if university raised any queries you have to answer them and the resubmission of the documents so if any document is uh, not clearly visible or university asked any queries so you have to reply for that so and then you have to deposit the seat acceptance fees and uh, there will be the generation of provisional admission letter everything will start from today 5 pm onwards but it has not yet started so it may be started within tomorrow so end of online document uploading by the candidates it will end within two days again you have to upload all the documents that what are asked in this uh, counseling so you have to upload all the documents so if you have not yet got the obc certificate or any certificate so you can get within these days if you have earlier didn't upload the documents so you can upload those documents now next end of the online document verification by the universities so these universities will verify these documents before this time so 26th that is thursday before 6 pm they will verify these documents and end of free submission of documents by the candidates so if any documents are found it's not correct or not clear so they will again tell to resubmit the document so you can resubmit the document before this time that is 27th 9 friday 2 pm before this time you have to submit and that university will verify the document immediately within four hours that is within 6 pm they will verify the document and you have to pay the seat acceptance fees 10,000 rupees before 11:59 pm next here are the important instructions for the candidates that we have already discussed in our previous videos and here is the specific instructions for the mop-up round that you can go through and we can see clearly during the mop-up round here they have given this list of documents you have to once again upload these documents in this counseling portal the online verification of the documents uploaded by the candidates shall be done by the verifying officer of the alerted university that may be the registrar the document verifying officer of the university will download such documents they will download the documents verify the given details can given by the candidate under the application form and they will be marked as verified if found in order so if it is uh, verified and if it was correct so they will mark it as verified and in case of doubt regarding the documents the document verifying officer of the alerted university will raise a query to the candidate so they will tell this is found not clear or something and against which the candidate can respond through the through his or her login so you can log in to that and you can respond to that this interaction between the document verifying officer and the candidate occurs only once you have to answer this query if they have raised any questions the time period permitted for resubmitting the document will be as per the counseling schedule the candidate is therefore advised to be vigilant about resubmission of the documents so you have to upload those documents as soon as they asked the candidate will be compulsorily required to submit his or her clarifications or resubmit the documents in response to the queries raised by the document verifying officer in stipulated time period so if they have asked any questions or query you have to answer within that period of the time failing which if you have treated as not reported or not responded your allotted seat will be cancelled so and you will not be able to participate in this subsequent rounds next is deposition of the seat acceptance fees so once the document has been uploaded and found uh, marked verified by the university the candidate will be required to pay the non-refundable seat acceptance fees of 10,000 rupees that I have mentioned already across the board irrespective of the category so whatever the category you may be you have to pay it to this uh, ICR in ICR counseling portal and if you are admitted to any particular university this 10,000 amount will be deducted from that fees for example if a particular university fees is 28,000 rupee as you have already paid 
10,000 rupee here at the time of physical verification you can pay only remaining 18,000 rupees so that is the meaning for this next if you have paid this fees and if that particular university has received that fees so it will be marked as provisionally admitted next the candidate may opt for upgradation after deposition of the seat acceptance fees so now i will clarify what is meant by upgradation so upgradation means for example you have been allotted to a particular university you have given one university such as Birsa Agriculture University as 40th place. Okay, you note down this one. But uh, you are not satisfied with this university. So you have given 30th university as something or uh, 30th university or first university something. So if you are not satisfied with that particular university and you have to get a seat in any of the other universities that you have given, top in your choice preference for that you have to do upgradation for going to this upgradation that is during second round this upgradation may be done during the second round so for that before upgradation the university to which you have been allotted so that university has to verify all your documents and after that verification you have to pay this 10,000 rupees so if you pay this 10,000 rupee only you have to you can upgrade in the next round that is you can do upgradation for this next round otherwise you cannot do this upgradation in some places it will be called by the name as sliding in Tamil Nadu in UG you may be heard the name sliding so this sliding is known as this upgradation in case of upgradation of the seats the candidate are not required to pay the seat acceptance fees again for example if you are allotted to a particular university in first round you are applying for upgradation and if you are applied to second upgradation again in the second round then you are again giving upgradation in third round so you may have question whether i need to pay this 10000 rupee again and again like that no once you have paid then there is no need to pay this fees again so that is you can get clear from this one and uh, second thing is uh, document verification for example this first round allotted university has already verified your document then whether the second round allotted university need to up verify your document or not that is depend upon the, your um, allotted university in the second round sometime they may verify or sometime they may not verify also that depends upon that particular university here the allotted universities are the authorities for the verification of the documents by icr Next is issue of a provisional admission letter after verification of the document by the candidate, documents of the candidate, after the payment of the seat acceptance fees, this provisional admission letter will be appear in that uh, online login and it will be issued to the candidate through email also. And next is upgradation. Here they have given this a clear information about this upgradation. So I will explain each and every step clearly. So here after the first round allotment some candidates may be allotted their second third or fourth or even lower choice okay that means for example first preference you have given iri second preference you may have given crida many of you may not have given crida because some other youtube channels have already took right and left of crida so you many of you may not have given crida but a second preference may be some other institutes and third preference may be some other universities like that on the other hand the seat allotted to the other candidates may remain vacant due to non-reporting or the reasons of ineligibility etc provided seats have become vacant you have been allotted to any universities as like uh, as i mentioned uh, 40th university earlier so 40th university so you have to get upgradation that is top preference so the seats may be vacant in that top universities what you have given preference so because some of the candidates may not be found eligible or some of the candidates may not report so like that some problem may be there so due to that the seats in that top preferred universities may remain vacant and there is a chance for you to get that seat in that particular university so that is known as this upgradation so provided the seats have become vacant these reporting candidates may request for sliding to better choice in the subsequent round of the map up round so i already mentioned that this is known as sliding however the candidate will be considered for using sliding only to one of the better or higher choices where the option given by him so higher means for example you have given 40th university as that university 41 42 will be some other university 38 39 will be some other university so you can give for this choice filling or upgradation you can give for this upgradation only the universities that what they have mentioned in top such as 39 38 40, sorry 37 36 like that you cannot give upgradation for the universities that you have mentioned in 41 42 43 like that so that is what they have mentioned so you have the chance only to do upgradation in the higher round not in the lower level next is the candidate has to exercise the choice of upgradation after 
deposition of the seat acceptance fees so you have to pay the seat acceptance fees then only you are eligible for this upgradation the status of all the candidates who have opted for upgradation will be available through university login that is for university if the candidate does not get better choice then his or her initially allotted seat will be retained by him or her so you have already allotted to that 40th university so you are applying for upgradation but if you are not yet getting any particular if you have not yet got good preference that is 38th or 39th or first then your 40th allotted seat that what you have already got in your first round that 40th university it will be available to you there will not be any problem next is if the candidate gets a better choice then his or her initial allotted seat will be stand fortified and the candidate have to accept the upgraded seat so already you have got this 40th university but in this um, upgradation you got some 30th university so now you cannot tell that i want that 40th university only not this 30th not this 30th university you have to up, up, you have to accept this 30th university in this next rounds therefore the candidates in no case upgraded candidates will be allowed to retain his originally allotted seat therefore the candidate must be very careful in exercising the request for upgradation if a reporting model of the university after upgradation the candidate should contact the concerned university and verify the date of registration so you have to verify your date of registration and additional document requirements if any for the allotted course well in advance before physically reporting to the finally allotted university at the time of registration or attending classes or as per the upgraded university requirements so you have applied so you have now uploaded for upgradation you have got the seat allotment in particular university you have to contact to that particular university to get the information about the registration or physical verification like that so you have to take care all these things so you have to verify about uh, all these uh, documents classes when it will start everything you have to take care icr will not be responsible for any of these things any of these things next is since there will be only four rounds request for upgradation will be possible only in second third and fourth round for the candidates who did not get any seats in the earlier rounds now another one thing someone will be asking questions i didn't get any seat in first round whether there is a chance to get a seat in second round third round like that yes there is a chance to get second round third round like that so whether for that you no need to do anything in this um, first round or second round you no need to go for any upgradation just you can be patient if there is any vacant seats you may get seat allotment in third round fourth round or second round like that next is subsequent rounds of online counseling will be conducted immediately after online reporting by the university is complete at the end of particular round of counseling that is you have to that is you have to take care and if a candidate is upgraded during second or third round the scope of getting better choice he can again request for upgradation so you can get you can give for this upgradation up to that fourth round next is physical reporting by the finally allotted university you have to take care of all this physical reporting about this finally allotted university so these are the very important information that what you have to do after um, your 